Okay, we're back. My paper is dry, glued on both sides to seal it. It feels a lot more closer to like a plastic now than it did paper, which will be stronger and easier to work with. I've taken my pattern, wrapped it around my pot, and I'm just trimming off um, any excess, just neatening it up pretty much because I just cut it really roughly and the edges were jagged. So you take your pattern, oops, sorry, wrap it around your pot and make sure it fits. Fits pretty well. Now, take your pattern. Either draw around your pattern to cut it out or do as I have and just weigh, weigh down your pattern and cut it out. Keeping in mind the wide part of the pattern is the top in case your print has a top and bottom to it. Now save your excess because sometimes you know things go wrong and you might have a little bit of a um, hole that you want to fill. Also, I highly recommend using a busy print. Now see this print is pretty busy. So therefore, if there is a little hole that you have to patch, you can stick an extra piece underneath it, match the colors, and people won't it won't be able to be detected that easily that you patched it. Um, as well as the fact that no matter how hard you try, the, pa the paper is going to wrinkle a little bit, so if it's busy, those wrinkles won't show. Now, take your finished product, wrap it around your pot again to make sure it fits nicely, which, see, oops, fits quite nicely. Oh, one thing I did forget, I kept this pot black, it was a black pot, and there's black in the, um, is black in the paper so it kind of matches. If it doesn't, if your pot's rust or ugly, paint it. And when you paint plastic, make sure to rough it up with some sandpaper first and then paint it. And then once you put your seal on top, the paint should stay on. Now, remember, we are just making something crafty out of cheapy, so don't think it's going to last you forever. It'll be cute while you, know, while you use it. I make heaps of them. When they get ugly, I chuck them aside or I do overs. Um, in fact, the one that I'm going to use with this, that I'm sealing along with this, is a do-over. Remember in part one, the pretty terracotta pot done in black and white fabric with the lady's face on it? Well, believe it or not, this is the same exact fabric. They were done together. This one wasn't done as well. Do-over! Okay, back to what we're doing. And this is just one of those old TV stands. Um, you can buy it to make your, for your TV, to, if you had a small TV, I bought it really cheaply somewhere. But it's great for doing pots because um, you can work on it on bigger pots. I do a lot of really big ones that are too heavy to hold like this. Okay, back to this. Oops, upside down. Get your paper on to make sure that it's going to sit properly which this one does, and glue it on. Now I've got some fresh glue and a fresh brush because now you want your glue clean because any little specks will show up on your paper, especially if you're using a white paper. Oops, running out of glue here. The glue, the, the good thing about the glue, once we get it on here, Paint, paint the whole pot full of glue. Once we get it on here and it's hardened, it sort of molds into shape, so we're almost kind of making a mold. And it won't come off because it'll be hardened into the shape of the pot. And then we're going to put sealer on top as well, so don't really worry about the fact that stuff doesn't glue the plastic that well. Yeah. Be sure and cover the entire pot. to put it on. Now you're lucky with the fact that because we seal the paper it's much more rigid and if you get a wrinkle you can just pull it off so you, you know you sort of smooth as you go along. You've got a wrinkle, pull it off and put it back on. Now you can do that a few times but not hundreds and hundreds of times because eventually the glue will moisten the paper and it'll start getting weaker. So just and also try not to tear it 
as you are fitting it into place. This being a smaller pot, it's easier. The larger pots is when you have um, trouble. But just practice. Practice on the little, small, cheapy ones, and you'll get better and better. And before long, you'll just have pots and pots covered everywhere like I do. Okay. Now, a friend taught me, this is a good idea, you take a old metal spoon and you use that, the back of it, to help you smooth out the wrinkles. Now, there are going to be a few wrinkles. It just happens. Um, once in a blue moon, I get a perfect one, but very rarely. And I'm not that picky because, like I said, they're just cheap plastic pots that you're just fixing up, you know, just for a little decoration. I don't get all that, you know fussy about them. But this spoon idea works because some, eventually you get glue on your hands and your hands stick to the paper and causes more difficulties. So just take your spoon and your thumb, whatever you can do, and get the air bubbles out as it starts to stick. And like I said, you will get a few wrinkles. You probably can't see them, which is the beauty of the busy paper, but you will get a few wrinkles then when you get to the end the flap just put some glue in your flap I can hear my husband coming in and he's probably gonna talk so I want to hurry up and get to this part and basically that's it don't put it on the bottom because that's when the water comes out um, you know it'll mess up so don't put it on the bottom I'm filming hon Just take it to the bottom. I usually like to buy a nice cheap colored plate like from the two dollar shop and use that as my drip saucer to catch the water. So you might have a little bit of extra around the edge here. Just trim that off. There you go, and trimming it off. Now this one has some weird little dents in it. Depends on your pot. But basically, now you just let it dry. It does have weird little dents in it. So this one has weird little dents in the bottom, so I'm just going to clip it around those dents and push my paper under or else it'll be just floating in midair and won't have anything to stick to because as you see, can you see that? That these have some weird little dents in here. If you're just starting out and you can actually buy the pot, buy, try to buy your pot with as smooth, um, as less obstructions as you can, as smooth of a pot as you can. The terracotta ones are the best, but then there's extra problems with terracotta because they're so porous, you have to really seal the inside, or when you water your plant, it'll come through to the outside and ruin the paper. Plastic ones are great because the water won't come through, but it, they have other problems, they're shapes. But there's that, so you let that dry, and we move on to the next step, which is, I'll use this one since this one's already dry, sealing it. And this is where I told you the glue has to be clean because it'll show. Now what you want to do is just paint the PVA glue all over the entire thing. Now, give it a good coat covering everything, but not too heavy because if you put too much, the glue dries milky and your pattern won't show through clearly. But you want it to have a nice even coat of glue all over the whole thing. Now this is whether you're going to use the estopole or the resin to seal it. If you're going to use the resin, you especially have to do this especially well. And I would do two or three coats of glue because the resin, if it's not sealed properly, it will bleed, which means your paper will look like it's always wet and it ruins the design. 
Estepole not so much, but it's always good to have a good seal to protect your print before you put the um, shiny stuff on the outside. And especially, especially, especially if you're going to print your own paper like I do, you know, just something cute. Sometimes I make birthday, happy birthday all over it or music or whatever. If I'm giving a gift, whatever that person likes, I'll print up my own paper um, to relate to what they like and do this. A good habit to get into while sealing is to paint your first coat vertically and after that dries, your second coat horizontally. That way you make sure to cover the entire item. Okay, we're back. Let's dry. Now we'll just seal it um, with the Estepo, yeah, Estepo Clear. This is the one that um, cleans up with water, which makes it easier. And I usually give it two coats. Gives it a nice shine as well as protects the paper. As with the glue, seal the pot with your clear estepole. Remember, a light coat. If it's too thick, it'll turn out milky and it won't dry clear. Do one coat horizontal, let it dry. Second coat vertical. If you want it to be extra, extra shiny, give it a third coat. But remember, light coats or else it'll end up milky. But, all right, we're going to let this dry and we'll come back. Well, there you go. We're finished. The pots can be kept outside with care. Just don't let them sit in water all the time because that might seep under the paper and peel it away. But other than that, they hold up pretty well. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks. Bye.